woke up to him one morning trying to strip my body for scrap. I mean, he, he was literally halfway out the door with my left kneecap, mate. I mean, who, who does that? Who does that? So I'm running around the house having a meltdown because I can't find my ring, right? Uh, next thing I know, I'm getting a phone call from Cash Converters because I carved me name and number onto the side of it because, you know, I'm clever like that. And uh, it turns out a certain someone was trying to hock it for 50 bucks. I mean, lucky they don't take alien objects or I'd be, I'd be in a bit of trouble, eh? But he lost me card was missing and knew exactly who it was from the get-go. So I bloody went up, I, I wrapped the last soul of don't tell fibs around his bloody neck, I tell you what, and I asked him exactly what he bought with it. And it turns out it was a KFC family bucket with extra sights. He can't be trusted and he, and he wonders why we don't hang around him anymore. Welcome back everybody to the adventures of Bruce and Robert and we're here today for a pretty damn monumental occasion. The finale of season two begins right now and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. It, it, it feels pretty great. We've come a long way. The giant psychopath is still fucking chasing us faster than ever before now. Okay. Of course, Robert's first mission back from the dead is a vehicle mission. It, it, it really, it's too poetic. The jokes write themselves. Well, Batman. Any last words? Yeah. Look, you're on TV. Ow, 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 Batman. We meet again. It's beautiful. It's also visible from space, you idiot. Ow, 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 Batman. I forgot how unsettling Martian Manhunter looks in this game. He's got the beadiest pair of eyeballs I've ever seen in my life. I don't blame Bruce for reaching out to the old crew, to be honest. We've been fighting this mechanical joker for 85% of the game at this point. Holy shit, well, we, we only just got Robert back. I gotta say I wasn't expecting to link up with the boys so soon, but I'm not complaining. I love Emerald Torch and... Robot. I feel like we've barely had any time to sort of reunite with Robert before everybody's turned up. I mean, he did just save Bruce's life about five minutes ago, but he knows where we stand. He, he knows things are a little bit different now, I'm sure. I'm not going to go as far to say that Bruce missed Robert or anything. Let's not call it a complete turnaround, but uh, uh, look, look, the, the game won't even let me throw him off the edge. I mean, it, <laughs> fate is disallowing this. I'm really liking this little team we've got going on here. And unlike Clark, these boys seem to be a little bit more bread orientated. I'm liking it. I mean, Robot is literally magnetic, so he can just attract any currency directly towards us. This is a fucking match made in heaven. So what should we call this little, uh, posse of ours? The Bread Boys? The, the Bread Bros? The Currency Crew? The beautiful thing is, I feel like we've all sort of got a place in this team, you know? No skill has been left out. If we're gonna make it out of this burning building, we're gonna have to come together. And I, I think that's a, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Clark was great, but he just wasn't bread orientated. I stated that enough, didn't I? Good dude, you know, nice n nice enough to hang around with on the odd occasion, but just in terms of business, mate, he didn't have the same spirit as, as these fellas right here. The fucking goonies. <laughs> okay, we got some robot on robot action here. That was not meant to sound as sexual as it did, but here we are. Robosexuality is an abomination. The good book saith a robot shall not lie down with a human, nor do it standing up, nor at any angle in between. We need you here, Robbie. We need you. You're an integral part of this moment. Without you, success would not be possible, and that is something I never thought I would ever say in my entire life, but here we are. Change is inevitable. Robot, we're gonna need you to magnetize real quick. Here you going, fella? Jesus Christ. I feel like it's only fair that Robot destroys the robots. You know, his human side really takes precedence over these ones, so... I'm sure he'll feel no shame. Are we about to hit a bread meter with the new crew right now? That's kind of monumental, if you ask me. What exactly is it with Joker not being able to just keep to his regular form? It's always some giant variation at the end of each video game. Diseased Joker, Mech Joker, you end up fighting them for way too long. I, can we just look? Little Joker, normal, normal, the 
the the comedic Joker. The, that one. This series is giving me a mental breakdown, as you can see. I'm really glad that this mission's given Rob some some variation in the outfits. It just feels right. Everything's come together. We're back to cleaning up filth, Rob. Look, at one point I would have said this is all you're good at, and then at another point I would have said that you can't even you can't even do that right. But things are. Things are really shaping up for you, fella. Alright, uh, who, who's who got this? Robot? Nice. Alright, go for it, brother. I'm not sure. Okay, you created a walkway. I appreciate it. You're a top bloke. Can't fault you. It's nice to see the boys from the league have tried to sort of forgive Bruce for his previous wrongdoings. It's a friendship I'm rooting for. Especially with this bastard laughing in the background constantly. Never have I wanted to punch a mechanical object more in my life. <laughs> Please do the honors for us, mate. I would feel no greater joy than in seeing that. I prefer the weapon you only have to fire once. That's how Dad did it. That's how America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. Green Lantern wearing that ring with pride, letting everybody know he's taken. Who's the lucky lady, mate? Who's the lucky lady? Never mind, he doesn't have time for ladies or relationships. He's too busy crafting locomotives from his imagination, my bad. To think that even one episode ago, I would have been encouraging Robert to just jump off this building without a second thought, and now, I'm actually a little bit concerned for his safety, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, are we gonna land directly in this bastard now? On this bastard, okay. This is a long fall. Are we getting any closer to the ground by any chance? We're gonna need to use our combined abilities here, boys. I don't think I have ever played as Robert this long consecutively in seasons one and two. But look, I'm feeling I'm feeling the comeback. I can't deny it, dude. Go on, shoot shoot your water pistol at him. Does that even do anything? I don't think so. I'm vibing with the teamwork, boys. You know I like a little bit of teamwork. Can we get a team intro? I feel like we need a team intro, like a, some some TV show type shit. Here we go. Okay. Uh, future me, edit a, a team intro into this part, please. I speak to myself like I just met myself. That's, that's some deep shit, dude. Okay, we got the entire crew. God damn. Feels good, man. We're gonna need to really come together with this one, boys. We're gonna need to really come together. I mean, apparently it takes all of us to defeat this one junky robot. Um, I, I, I've got to say I wasn't expecting this to be the final villain. I, I, I didn't remember it that way, but that's okay. Look, friendship forms in many different interesting and exciting ways and if this is what brought us together then i'm appreciative of it uh you know what i might even go as far as trying to help this citizen right now it only feels right i'm feeling generous you know <laughs> um okay oh my god there's so much hidden bread only accessible to those with abilities of flight i mean clark had similar abilities but as i keep stating there we go. As I keep stating, he just wasn't bread-minded. He just wasn't about the loaf, and I, I can't really accept that. There we go. Okay. Had to do a little bit of park. Um, why is Mechanical Joker filled with green sludge? I reckon Flash is the bloke to take out numerous enemies, because it's just really instant decimation. All right. Baz is a little bit preoccupied at the moment. Go for it. Go for it, you absolute machine. What an absolute fucking... <laughs> what an absolute beast, dude. All right, that's the clown done. And now moving on to the hairless one. Yeah, I, I remember this. We, uh, <laughs> we, we hit up Martian Manhunter for the old orbital cannon, don't we? He was a GTA Online griefer all along. Should have seen it coming. Ah! You better stop! 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 
Go on skis, mate. Lex Luthor's initials tell you enough about the probability of him beating the boys anyway, so, I mean, let, let's be real. Great work, Batman. I, I love how Commissioner Gordon just shows up at the end of the game, like, <laughs> what are you doing here, you old fool? I haven't seen you since the beginning. Uh. And there we have it. It's a, uh, it's a bittersweet moment, but that right there is the final mission for the finale of Bruce and Robert's Season 2. Which is very unusual for me because uh, series don't exactly get finished too often around here. So it's a, it's, a, it's a big moment. We should celebrate. Without drawing this outro out too much, um, I really just want to say, obviously, thank you all for supporting this series the way that you have. I know I say that a lot, but man, this series started out as a really tiny thing on this channel. It was something I wasn't even sure I was going to upload back in the day. So... Um, yeah, to see how many of you guys have joined in along the way and people who have even been there from the very beginning, thank you for that. It's, uh, it's been really, really fun. Hope you all enjoyed the finale. Appreciate you all watching. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in whatever comes next. Point six percent. What the actual fuck? Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello, it's me again. Um, I'm just calling in regards to the renewal of uh, Bruce and Robert for season three. <laughs> Look, I, I know you guys haven't been exactly comfortable with the excessive violence and crime content, you know, the assassinations, the bank robberies, the tax evasion, I, I get that. Uh, but look, I thought we'd wrapped up filming here for the documentary, especially since, you know, everything's kind of wrapped up at this point. But now I'm hearing talks amongst them about the boys going into space for a, a vacation or something. If you guys can just give me one more grant for just one more season, I, I honestly think there's there's still a lot for us to see there. I, I really do. I'll even I'll even do a spin-off first, if if that's what you guys are looking for. Okay? So just think about it, mull that one over for a bit, and um yeah. Okay. Cheers, Netflix. Just uh give me a call back whenever you get this. See ya.